Good day. Keeping in mind the speed and quality of our offers, VTS has created a new system for the selection of devices called Climacat Online 4.0, referred to as CCOL 4.0 for short. The program is available online and works on any web browser. In the next steps, I will show how to quickly and easily log into the system, configure the control panels, and generate a technical offer. Logging into the application is very simple and intuitive. To do this, go to the login page at www.ccol4.com. On this page, we see a typical login form into which we enter our data, the login and password. If you are a new user, press the register button right below the login button and fill out the short form. You will get access to Climacad after the data is approved by the system administrator. Activation of the account may take up to 24 hours from the time of registration. After sending the authorization to the email address provided in the form, you will receive confirmation that your account has been activated. Let's go back to the login form. For training purposes, I have already set up an account in the system. After logging in, a manual appears in the form of a visualization that shows how to select the device in a few steps. Because these are the same steps as I want to show today, let me turn this window off. The main page appears on the site and shows the search engine for projects and for offers. This tool is very useful for searching and managing our projects and device selection, especially when we accumulate a significant number of them. Before the selection of the device, I need to register a project on my account that consists of offers and selection of devices for a particular investment. For the purposes of this tutorial, I will create a project called the Office Building. It is also worth remembering to provide additional information, such as the location of our investment. After entering all data, I register my project with the Save button. Then, using the Project Browser window, you must mark our project as a favorite, so that you can select it from the left menu. From the top-down list of projects, I choose the one I want to work on. In our case, Office Building, and I add the first technical offer to it. The offer is simply a set of device selections within a specific project. It is worth noting that when a new offer is added, the system automatically gives it a unique number. Having created a new offer, I can add my first device to it. To do this, I click on the image labeled as Air Handling Units, located in the main program window. For the purposes of this tutorial, I will select Supply and Exhaust Air Handling Unit, equipped with a rotary generator and air heaters and coolers. Using the configurator, I choose the device type. In my case, it is Ventus VVS. Then the base level, two-level vertical, the type of device with a rotary heat exchanger, and the mounting on the floor. On the right side, CCOL 4.0 shows me examples of base systems for this configuration. I select a system with a heater and a cooler placed in the bottom air track. After selecting my database, I click on the Next button. The system moves me to the configurator in which I can supplement my control unit with additional air treatment functions that were not in the basic configuration. The addition of a function to the device is possible by simply dragging the selected element and dropping it in the right place in our air handling unit. In this particular case, I will add a long bracket and place it behind the supply fan. It will be the second stage filtration at my unit. Having finally configured my air handling unit, I once again click on the next button. In the next stage of device selection, I define its key parameters. Air efficiency on both sides of the system, supply, and exhaust. For example, I choose 15,000 meters cubed per hour two times, one for supply and one for exhaust. Having this information, the program provides me several sizes of air handling units that are able to handle the performance requirements. Having this information, the program offers me several possible sizes of air handling units that are able to handle my required performance. In addition, the gray bar suggests a range of air expenses that can be handled by each of the proposed volumes. I choose the most optimal and click Next. In the next stage of selection, I can specify all other work parameters, such as temperature and humidity of air, disposable pressure, class of applied filters, parameters of factors for the heater and radiator, the side of my air handling unit execution, and many others, depending on the selected device type and its configuration. Using the right pull-down menu of the program, I can also choose the automation application. For this purpose, I choose the type of controller, user interfaces, determine the leading air temperature sensor, and add an additional interface enabling communication with the BMS system. At the moment when all parameters of the selected air handling unit are set and confirmed, we can calculate it. 
To do this, click on the button marked with the calculator symbol. After the calculation of the device, the CCOL 4.0 presents the results of the selection in the form of a technical report. At this stage of the selection, we still have the opportunity to change the size of the selected air handling unit. For example, increasing its size from VVS-150 to VVS-180. From this report, we can read all the parameters of the selected device, starting from its dimensions and mass, and ending with detailed data, for example, the flow of refrigerant in individual heat exchangers. Having a ready-made selection of the air handling unit, it is worth accepting the entire offer in the CCOL 4.0 system. To do this, click on the Calculate Offer button located on the top menu of the application. After pressing it, the system has processed my offer to a form from which it will be possible to download the documentation of our selection and keep it on the disk or print. After accepting the offer, the program will also suggest refreshing the offer. Let's do it by clicking on the Refresh button. Positive calculation will be confirmed by the change of status to Success. Let's move to the window from which we will generate a printable technical data sheet. We start this window with the Generate Reports button placed on the top menu of our application. A window with two tabs appears on the screen. The first on the left enables us to generate a card for the selection of technical data of our air handling unit. To do this, click on the Generate button. The system displays a link to the document in PDF format. Click on its icon on the right side and open it on the next tab of our browser. Our technical data sheet is an extensive summary of our selection that can be saved or printed. It contains information about all technical parameters of the selected device, including its performance, dimensions, masses, configuration of the base frame, as well as division into sections for transport purposes. The CCOL 4.0 program also enables dynamic generation of BIM objects in the Revit program format. This functionality is supported by the second tab of our report generator. Due to the fact that the preparation of BIM objects usually requires a few minutes, their downloading does not take place as in the case of the Air Handling Unit technical data sheet, but is done by ordering the preparation of relevant files and sending a link to download them to the designated recipient. In the Report Generator window, we give the data of the person to whom we want to direct the generated BIM object and confirm the order with the Generate button. Soon, the system will send a message to the indicated email address with a link to download the file with the BIM model. Using the icons placed on the left side of the program window, you can generate drawings of our air handling unit in AutoCAD format, both flat and three-dimensional. Thank you for your attention, and we invite you to watch the next tutorials devoted to the selection in the KlimaCAD Online 4.0 program.